friends welcome to the engineering adda today we see the total indeterminacy in the structure so first of all we see the formula of it that is t equals to e plus i where t is nothing but the total indeterminacy in the structure e is the external indeterminacy and i is nothing but the internal indeterminacy so let's see how to calculate this external and internal indeterminacy for the thrust and the frame we have the equation with us e equals to r minus r where r is the total number of unknown equations available in the structure and r is the number of equilibrium equations we see later the detail about this first you only concentrate with this formula and now the second formula for the thrust if uh, we are applying the equation for the thrust we have to use this formula that is m minus in bracket 2j minus r and if we are using for the frame we are using this formula that is m minus 3j minus r where m where this m m is nothing but the number of member that is it is the unknown member force and the j is nothing but the number of joint so let's see how this formula is applied on the frame or stresses to calculate the total degree of indeterminacy of the structure so now moving towards the questions we have with us so i am taking this two simple example first for the frame and second for the stress just for you guys to understand the concept of total indeterminacy now we have to calculate here the total degree of indeterminacy of this frame structure we have we know that is t equals to e plus e and the e is the external and indeterminacy of structure as here r is the number of unknown equations so it is fixed that's why here vertical horizontal reaction and one moment so this is three unknown reaction here also one vertical one horizontal and one moment so total number of r is 6 so we take this r equals to 6 and r is the equilibrium equations we have with us that is summation of horizontal force equals to 0 summation of vertical force is equals to 0 and the summation of moment equals to 0 so this these are the some equilibrium equations that's why 6 minus 3 equals to equals to 3 6 minus 3 equals to 3 and now moving towards the internal indeterminacy of this structure now we are using this formula m minus in bracket 3j minus r where m is the unknown member forces so member is first second third fourth fifth sixth so we have six member and we are here multiplying with three because this is the frame structure and the each member carries three forces that is shear force axial force and the moment so these are three forces carried by the each member that's why this here multiply with three three into six members we have Minus three into we have six joint one two three four five six minus three equations of equilibrium we get eighteen minus fifteen equals to three so we have extra uh, internal indeterminacy as three by getting total three plus three equals to six so t equals to six this is our total degree of indeterminacy of this frame structure now moving towards stress so we have this stress. Uh, as a question with us we have to calculate the total degree of indeterminacy this is the external indeterminacy here the vertical reaction and the horizontal reaction two unknowns here only vertical reaction one unknown so total number of unknowns that is capital r equals to 3 and equations of equilibrium summation of fx summation of fn summation of moment equals to 0 that's why e plus 2 0 now here stress that's why we are using this formula m minus in bracket 2j minus r where m is the only member we are not multiplying it with uh, any unit because this is stress 
and the member of truss is carried only axial force not any shear force not any bending moment that's why this move that's why we are not multiplied with this three here directly take member 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 member minus 6 join 2 into 6 minus 3 3 is the uh, equations of equilibrium that's why 10 minus 9 1 so total degree of indeterminacy is e plus i that is 1 so this is the total degree of indeterminacy of this truss thank you